It's time for this week's College Hockey Report. Our guest is Greg Carey, newly signed with the Phoenix Coyotes. That's that time of year. He was a free agent, but no longer a college hockey player. He's on his way to Portland, the American Hockey League, now a member of the Phoenix Coyotes. And you see his numbers there. And Greg joins us right now. St. Lawrence product. Greg, how are you? And why did you choose uh, Phoenix? Uh, not that, uh, thanks for having me. Um, I, I don't know. I, I was kind of talking to my agents and, and friends and family and, and um, trying to figure out what the next step was. And, and Phoenix presented the, the best opportunity for me. Um, I think I fit well within their system and, and within their game. And I'm excited for the chance that they, they gave me here. When, when something like this happens, how many teams are in the mix for your services, I guess? How many teams are contacting your agent or your advisor? How does that work? Uh, usually they deal with a lot of that. They kind of start getting phone calls going right right, right towards uh, right, right as soon as the season's over. So uh, in, in the mix, we're kind of about seven, eight teams, and then really serious, there are about three teams. So um, it's it's kind of a, a checklist process. You 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 see where, where you fit. What what team kind of needs needs some younger guys uh, who who are looking for for, for a college free agent, and um, you, you kind of sift through it all and, and and figure out where where the best chance you, you got, where your best opportunity is. Greg, we just saw some of the highlights there. We got a little taste of your goal scoring abilities. How would you describe your style of play? Um, I pride myself in, in, in my offensive ability. I like to try and make plays happen, and uh, and, and, and I like to shoot the puck. If uh, if, if if I'm not able to to get it off, I I, I don't mind mind uh, setting guys up. I I had a, a ton of assists this year. Um, I think half were were, were assists, and, and uh, half were kind of just just rebounds off the goalie. So um, I definitely pride myself in, in my offense, and, and and I like to kind of get get things going and in in there and then create chances. Greg, you are amongst those, I believe it's 10 players that is, are in the mix for the uh, prestigious Hobie Baker Award as college hockey's best player. You're a, a guy that has played college hockey at St. Lawrence for four years, so you understand what that award is all about. How do you feel about uh, being up for such a uh, such an honor? You know what? It's it, it's uh, it, it's something to be proud about. The the other nine guys that are up there are all terrific hockey players, and and you know what you you, you kind of work as hard as you can, and um, it, it it says as much about the the player you are as it is about the the teammates that kind of surround you and and and, and help you get there. And, and coming from a small school, to be able to be be kind of selected as the as the homie maker again, um, you know I'm 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 proud to say that I was a saint, and uh, and um, I'll kind of carry that with me forever. Great. What would you think of your brother signing with the Chicago Blackhawks? Um, I was proud of him. I, I was proud of him. He was kind of on the phone with me, and I, I mean, I, I shipped up to Portland here uh, yesterday, so I was in and out of airports and, and, and phone service here, so I was kind of waiting on, on the final news. He, he, he told me thoughts in the morning, and, and, and I was excited for him. You know, he's got a terrific opportunity. Um, I think he's headed to Chicago today, and so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm really excited. I think the, the, the whole family back home is, is pretty pumped for him. Greg, congratulations, and best of luck as you begin your professional career. Uh, thank you.